How many textual variants do we have among our New Testament manuscripts? Well, there have been a couple of different calculations, and one has been something that's been out there since 1965 in a popular New Testament introduction, and that count is it's the source of a folk myth, if you will. It's completely wrong, and we need to deal with that first. In 1965, that author said that a textual variant is one in which any time you have a number of manuscripts that differ with a different number of manuscripts, you count each manuscript that differs as a variant. But this is a very unorthodox and unacceptable definition for a textual variant, and yet it has gotten into all sorts of popular literature in the last uh, 45 years that has uh, infected uh, popular culture, especially within the church, where people say, oh, well, there aren't really that many textual variants if you understand that each variant involves a number of, of uh, counts as just involving one manuscript. So uh, at that time, there were known something in the neighborhood of 150, 2,000 variants that this author knew about. And he said, well, here's how you actually count a variant. If we have 1,000 manuscripts that read Jesus, in this particular verse, and a thousand manuscripts that read Lord in the same verse, that means that there's a thousand variants from the wording Jesus. That's not true. That's not how we should count the textual variants. And so this was a way for him to say, because there's a couple hundred thousand variants, when you count how many manuscripts are, every manuscript that counts against the text counts as a variant. Consequently, it didn't look like there were that many variants among our manuscripts. The real way to count variants, however, is this. Every single time you have a change in the wording among these witnesses, that counts as a variant. Regardless of how many manuscripts you have that back it up, it still counts as just one variant. So how many variants do we have among our New Testament manuscripts? The best estimate that we have today is somewhere in the neighborhood of 400,000, possibly as high as 500,000. And again, what this means is every time I see a difference in the manuscripts where the wording is different, that counts as a variant. When we look at the number of words we have in the New Testament, there are approximately 140,000 words in the Greek New Testament as it was originally written. Give or take a few hundred here and there, it's actually 138,162 in our standard published Greek New Testament. So when I look at that and I say, there's 400,000 variants among our witnesses. What that tells me is that for every word I have in the Greek New Testament, there are approximately two and a half variants. Or as one scholar is fond of saying, we have more variants among our manuscripts than we have words in the original New Testament. So it's a, a very high number on one level. In the next lesson, we're gonna look at the nature of these variants and determine how significant this issue really is. But for now, just to understand there's about 400,000, maybe as high as 500,000 variants among our witnesses uh, and only about 140,000 words in the Greek New Testament. That means we have approximately two and a half variants for every word in the New Testament, which is one of the reasons why we need to examine these manuscripts and try to determine the original as best we can. There's kind of an epilogue to the number of variants and it is simply this. The reason we have so many variants is because we have so many manuscripts. If scholars had only one copy of the Greek New Testament today, a handwritten copy, we would have no variants. Two copies, now we'd start getting a few thousand variants. Three copies would get more. But the point is, we have far more textual variants for our New Testament witnesses than we do for any other Greco-Roman literature because we have so many manuscripts. And yet the more manuscripts that we have, the more that we can examine and, and really look at intently, the more we can start tracing this genealogical relationship among these manuscripts, which helps us to ultimately get back to the autographic text.